Last week, we learned that in connection with a lawsuit in which insurance companies are seeking to hold Saudi Arabia financially responsible for 9-11, Musawi gave sworn testimony in which he said it was his job to prepare an electronic database tracking donations from members of the Saudi royal family to bin Laden. The lawyer to whom Musawi gave that testimony is Sean Carter, and he's joining me now. Sean, the Saudis, as you know, they say he's stone cold crazy, and not even the 9 11 Commission bought into this. Yeah, well, there are two problems with the Saudis' arguments on that point. The first is that uh, the 9 11 Commission did not exonerate Saudi Arabia. Our filing this week included not only Musawi's testimony, but affidavits from two members of the 9-11 Commission emphatically denying that the Commission had exonerated the Saudis and urging that there was further evidence that really did need to be explored. Uh, with regard to the Saudis' comment that Musawi is a deranged criminal, the fact of the matter is that is what makes him a knowledgeable witness. And by way of analogy, when the Department of Justice prosecutes a mob boss, they don't call the parish priest as their star witness. They call someone else from within the mob a, a deranged criminal, as it were. And they asked the jury to believe that person precisely because only someone from within a covert criminal enterprise can truly provide inside information about what it does. Now, in Musawi's case, the fact of the matter is that our claim against Saudi Arabia doesn't rise and fall on Musawi's testimony. It's part of a much bigger mosaic of evidence that documents strong ties between Saudi government actors and hijackers here in the United States. And the filing this week included 4,000 pages of evidence in support of our claims. It wasn't just Musawi's testimony. You went behind bars of the most secure federal prison in the United States. I want to put up on the screen an oath that Musawi offered as you were about to take his testimony. He says that, you know, may Allah uh, curse the liar. There it is. I swear by Allah that everything I say until the end of this testimony will be true. May Allah curse the liar. Did you, Sean, find him to be credible? Uh, I did, as well as the other lawyers and uh, investigators who were out with us. We actually brought uh, some subject matter experts, counterterrorism experts, with us so that we would be able to sort of gut check what he was saying throughout the testimony. And he provided incredibly detailed testimony about al Qaeda's operations during that period, uh, the organizational structure and who was responsible for certain activities, the nature of al Qaeda's facilities within Kandahar at that time, and everything he said when he was providing this very detailed, directly responsive testimony checked out for us. So we do think uh, that what he said was credible. I, I also saw this week in the last day or so uh, that Congressman Stephen Lynch and Walter Jones, both of whom are pressing for a resolution to release the 28 pages, have commented that they saw things in Musawi's testimony that uh, reflected and were mirrored by what they read in the 28 pages. Why